dear current member of the Jehovah Witness organization, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day. My name's Jay, and I'm an ex-member of the Jehovah Witness. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, God, you're gonna cut off the video? You just started it. Just give me a second, okay? Just give me a second. I promise not to go all crazy apostate on you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, basically, I want to explain our side of the story. You've heard their side? I think it would only be fair if you heard our side. So, I want to break down, if I could, whenever somebody who's considered an apostate, you know, talks, they seem angry or mad or crazy. I just want to explain that to you. Now, you've been told that we left the organization and we want nothing else to do with it, and that's true. But you've also been told that, in my case, for example, I'm evil, I'm crazy, I'm mentally disease this is also true but Jehovah knew that when I got baptized so you buy the cow you got to take the milk okay I've always been stupid as long as I can remember <laughs> Ouch. but contrary to popular belief your average ex Jehovah Witness is none of those things we're kind we're loving we want to have fun and we just want to be happy you know? Now, one of the first things that I would like for you to know about me is that I have a humongous Oh, oh my God, oh, oh, Jesus, I don't know. I have a humongous heart, a humongous heart, oh my God. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know how that happened, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, the reason that I said I have a humongous heart is because I love the Jehovah Witnesses. I love the people, the people that are in the organization. They're great people, most of them, not all of them. The governing body on the other hand, oh, the governing body, they could suck my Oh, that's what happened. Right, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I see what happened now. The reason I'm not filling the governing body is because of the things that they put forth to people, how they change ideas and things like that on a whim. I know, hi, right, okay, all right. I, I promise you I wasn't gonna go all super apostate, I'm not gonna even get into it, but let's just say, I disagree with them and just leave it at that. But what I will say is that after you leave the organization and you decide to go in another direction, you start to do research. And when you first leave, you don't wanna go to some apostate sites and just start getting information from there. You wanna go to some non-biased sites to get your information from. The only problem that I ran into was the non-biased sites started to side with the apostates. The information that I was getting from apostates people and sources was turning out to be true and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, is the mass media working with apostates? Oh, I mean, I guess it could be, but I mean, apostates ain't really that popping in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Basically, with all my research and everything I did personally, it all came down to my thoughts on Jehovah. In my mind, I've always thought Jehovah was the most just person in the world. Like there was nobody more fair, nobody more giving of justice than Jehovah himself. You know what I mean? That's the idea I had of Jehovah in my head. But certain things would happen that I didn't like or and I didn't feel was just so it made me question his very existence. And it wasn't nothing that was done by apostates. These were things done by Jehovah Witnesses that kind of made me question was God really just? And I know as you probably do, Jehovah doesn't change. People change. But according to the Bible, Jehovah doesn't change. Once again, I'm going to all apostate you on. So I said I'm not going to do it. It's hard. It's hard not to. It's so hard. Too. Well, one of the reasons why I think that apostates come off a little bit strong is because when you're a Jehovah Witness, everything you see and you know about the religion is true. There is no question about it. You feel it in your heart. You feel it in your bones. There is no way that this could be wrong. And when you become an ex-Jehovah Witness, the same thing is true, but in the opposite version, you know? For example, let's say we're all on a boat, right? I somehow come up on a pair of binoculars and I can see really far out. And I'm like, oh, no, nah, here come a big iceberg. Now I can only see it through my binoculars. And you're standing next to me like, I don't see no damn iceberg. What are you talking about? I don't want to listen to you anymore. And you turn around. Now, the iceberg is coming. And I'm even standing like, here, just look through these binoculars here. And you're sitting there, I don't want to look through your apostate binoculars. 
<laughs> but the iceberg is coming. It's so frustrating to just, it's right, the binoculars are right there. Just look through them. Just look, they're not good. I'm not hiding them from you or nothing. Just look through them. That's my point. It's very frustrating to have something really easy to look through that you can easily just give to somebody that would save or help or improve their life. And they refuse to look through the binoculars because they're apostate binoculars. <laughs> That's why we seem like we're crazy when we're all, ah. Uh, we just want you to see what we've seen. We want to save you some time and heartache, but I'm not gonna go all apostle. Apostate. Beautiful. You look beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. There we go. Hey. Who, 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 who? <laughs> all right, get out of here. Hit the little bell notification so you know when I post my next video. Just right here, right here, right here, right here. Mm. Flexible muscles. You got flexible muscles. <laughs> <laughs>